Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to address you today by video message and share my appreciation for the Commission's efforts to achieve the global goal of universal connectivity. Indeed, the Broadband Commission's manifesto calls for collaboration on universal connectivity, essential to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Internet connectivity can create transformative pathways for education and employment, and improve access to information and services. Leaving no one behind means leaving no one offline. As the world adapted to the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, digitalization has accelerated. It is now more important than ever for societies to have the tools to adapt to these structural changes so they can thrive in the digital economy. However, increasing digitization risks entrenching the inequalities. The poorest and the most vulnerable in developed and developing countries alike, who are the hardest hit by COVID-19, are also the farthest behind in terms of digital access and opportunities. Without greater and more inclusive digital cooperation and coordination, expanding digital connectivity could increase inequalities between and within countries and economic sectors, enable technology-facilitated abuse and harassment, particularly targeting women and children, and aid the spread of disinformation and misinformation. However, the transformational potential of digital connectivity for the SDGs can be realized if governments, the private sector, civil society and other stakeholders work together towards this common goal. As examples, global digital connectivity can help us to gather and analyze the data needed to achieve the SDGs and the multilateral environmental agreements on biodiversity, land, climate and pollution. Global connectivity has the potential to alter the way we work and live and reduce pollution, but also risks increasing pollution if we do not consider the impact of new technologies. A whole-of-society approach is key to implement sustainable consumption and production and manage the rebound effects from increased use of digital technologies. To secure a digital future for all, domestic and international policies must go beyond simply connecting more developing country users and consumers with the digital economy. They must also enable domestic capability building. Otherwise, the gap between underconnected and hyper-digitalized countries will widen, exacerbating existing inequalities. Excellencies, the coronavirus pandemic has revealed the urgent need for resilient digital infrastructure for all. While fixed broadband sub subscriptions are increasing globally, there are almost no fixed broadband connections in the least developed countries due to the high cost and lack of existing infrastructure. The pandemic has exacerbated the high cost of the digital divide from health, economic and social perspectives. I commend the Broadband Commission for its agenda for action for faster and better recovery in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. This session in the UN General Assembly, we are also focused on bridging the digital divide. On April 27th, I will convene a one-day high-level thematic debate on digital cooperation and connectivity with the team of a whole of society approaches to end the digital divide. The meeting will seek to highlight the urgent need for a political commitment to address the digital divide in support of COVID-19 adaptation, response and recovery efforts in alignment with the SDGs. It will provide a platform for frank exchanges amongst relevant UN ent entities, technology leaders, constituents and stakeholders 
to further align work in support of member states' needs. It will also build momentum for concrete measures to improve digital cooperation and work towards the UN 75 Declaration's common vision of an open, free, and safe digital future for all. Excellencies, it is my firm belief that greater efforts must be made to increase digital skills and literacy, improve identification of misinformation, and reduce the intergenerational gap between young and old. Addressing the digital divide also requires us to address the energy divide, given the reliance on electricity to power digital technologies. I wish you all the best in your deliberations today, and I thank you for your efforts to make digital connectivity universal.